Hello, welcome to Creator Classes and also welcome to our new series on Angle Bisector, In Circle and X Circle. We have just completed our median series and this is our new series. In this series, we will cover all these videos ranging from Angle Bisector to various theorem, In Circles to X Circles. Everything we will cover in this new series. And this is the first video. In this video, we will cover the angle bisector and the angle bisector theorem. So without taking any further time, let's start with this lecture. Let's check a triangle ABC. The line that bisects the angle into two equal portion is known as angle bisector. Here the line AD divides the angle A into two equal parts. So the line AD is the angle bisector of the angle A. Similarly, if we bisect the angle B, then the line BE will be the angle bisector of the angle B. Similarly, the line CF is the angle bisector of angle C. A triangle is having three vertex, so we can say a triangle can have three angle bisectors. Students, to note that this line that is the angle bisector does not meet with the midpoint of the opposite side means these two portions are not equal to each other nor this angle is 90 degree angle bisector only means it divides the angle into two equal portion the line which divides the opposite side into two equal portion is the median in the medians we have covered that the line segment which start with the vertex and meets the midpoint of the opposite side is the median okay moving further the three angle bisectors in a triangle intersect at a common point and this common intersection point is known as in center it is generally denoted by the symbol i so i for this triangle is the in center and the point of intersection of the three median is the centroid okay the same we have covered in the median chapter i am just comparing median with the angle bisectors so that you can compare and you can clear your fundamentals so side by side i will compare the medians and the angle bisector medians the line segments which meet the midpoint of the opposite side angle bisector which divides the angle into two equal portion and the point of intersection of the median is known as centroid that is denoted by g as g is the center of gravity and the point of intersection of angle bisector is the in center and the in center is denoted by i why it is called in center that we will see in the course of the lecture let's move to next fundamental this is the angle bisector theorem for understanding this concept let's check a triangle abc with ab as a and ac as b let's take ad as the angle bisector of angle a okay here both of these angles will be equal to each other as ad is the angle bisector as per this theorem in case of angle bisector the ratio of bd is to dc will be equal to a is to b a and b are the length of ab and ac respectively okay got the fundamental in wording we can say in a triangle the angle bisector of any angle will divide the opposite side in the ratio of sides containing the angle here this angle that is angle a contains the side a and b that is side ab and ac so we can say ratio of bd is to dc will be equal to ratio of ab is to ac let's convert it into the formula that is ab by ac is equal to bd by dc let's understand this concept with the help of a construction experiment let's take a random triangle abc let's draw the angle bisector of angle a okay we have drawn the line segment ad ad is the angle bisector of angle a let's measure ab and ac we got ab as 20 cm and ac as 10 cm further let's measure bd and dc we got bd as 13 cm and dc as 6.5 cm you can measure in your construction figure that you have drawn what values you have got for all these four sides further let's calculate the ratio of ab to ac that is 20 by 10 we got the ratio as 2 
Further, let's calculate the value of BD is to DC. That is 13 by 6.5. We got the ratio as 2. So we got the ratio of AB is to AC is equal to the ratio of BD is to DC. That is 2. So as per this experiment, we can say that in a triangle, the angle bisector of any angle will divide the opposite side in the ratio of the sides containing the angle. This is angle bisector theorem. Okay. Do these small experiments. These small experiments will enhance your basic fundamental. Moving further. Now the question is why these ratios that is AB is to AC is equal to the ratio of BD is to DC. Let's do the small proof of this property. Let's take the triangle ABC with AD as the angle bisector. Angle bisector divide the angle A into two equal portions. So can we say both of these angles will be equal to each other? Let's assume both of these angles as X. Let's extend the line BA and also draw a line segment from the vertex C which is parallel to line AD. Both of these lines will meet at a point. Let's denote this point as point E. Here AD and EC both are parallel to each other. If we only take AD and EC and the line segment AE as the transversal. Can we say this angle X is equal to angle AEC? Why? Because these are corresponding angles. And in case of transversals and the parallel line, the corresponding angles are equal to each other. So we can say this angle that is angle AEC is also equal to angle X. Similarly, if we again take these two parallel lines that is AD and EC and the line segment AC as the transversal. Can we say angle DAC that is angle X is equal to angle ACE? Why? Because both of these angles are alternate interior angles. And in case of transversal and the parallel line, the alternate interior angles are equal to each other. So both of these angles will be equal to each other. And we got angle ACE is also equal to angle X. So we got both of these angles also equal to angle X. If we take the triangle ACE, okay, we have taken this triangle. These two angles are equal to each other that is equal to angle X. And we know the property of the triangle that is the sides opposite to equal angles in a triangle is equal. So angle C and angle E for this triangle is equal. So we got AE that is the side opposite to angle C and the side AC which is opposite to angle E are equal to each other. So we got AC is equal to AE. Moving further, if we take the triangle EBC with the line segment AD, can we say AB upon AE is equal to BD upon DC? AD is parallel to EC and we have used the BPT theorem covered in the fundamentals of similarities of triangle. So we got AB upon AE is equal to BD upon DC. And just now we have proved AC is equal to AE. So can we replace AE with AC? On replacing we got AB upon AC is equal to BD upon DC. That is the proof of our property. Okay, got it? Very simple proof. This proof involves the concept of similarities of triangle and the transversal lines. Those students who have not completed these two concepts to do it before coming to this topic. So that's it for this video. Hope you have enjoyed the video. If you like or dislike, please mention in the below comment section. And thank you very much for being with Creator Classes. Have a great day and best of luck. Bye for now.